five popular artificial sweeteners found in your food. Now, sweetness has always had a special place in our taste buds, and food manufacturers have long sought out ways to satisfy our sweet cravings without adding excess calories. Enter artificial sweeteners. Now, these sugar substitutes have become a staple in many of our favorite low-calorie, sugar-free, and diet products. So in today's video, I'm going to dive deep into the world of artificial sweeteners and uncover five common artificial sweeteners that you wouldn't even know are in your food today. So number one is aspartame. So it's derived from amino acids and it's a taste of sweetness minus the calories. Aspartame is the low calorie sweetheart of artificial sweeteners family. Now it's 200 times sweeter than sugar and it's found in various beverages, chewing gum and tabletop sweeteners. Now it adds a burst of sweetness without guilt. Number two is an artificial sweetener is sucralose. Now it's derived from sugar through a chemical process and it's a sweet surrender to the sugar-free sensation derived from sugar, but without the calories. Now sucralose reigns as a prominent artificial sweetener in our day-to-day -day foods and it's got a staggering sweetness level of about 600 times that of regular sugar. Now it can be found in diet sodas, baked goods, and a range of low calorie treats. The third artificial sweetener is called saccharin. Now it's synthesized from petroleum and it's a classic sweetness tale steeped in history. Saccharin has delighted our taste buds over a century and approximately 300 to 500 times sweeter than regular sugar. Now it often appears in diet drinks, tabletop sweeteners, and various processed foods offering a classic and reliable sweet sensation. The fourth one is what's called ACE-K. It's a synthetic compound. Now it's the hidden sweet superpower teaming up with other artificial sweeteners. ACE-K packs a powerful punch at around 200 times the sweetness of sugar. This calorie-free sweetener is frequently present in soft drinks, desserts, and popular chewing gums, bringing an extra dash of sweetness to your favorites. And the last but not least, and the sweetest of them all, artificial sweeteners is what's called Neotame. Now it's new to this because it's a chemical process and it's a derivative of an artificial sweetener, which is aspartame. And it boasts an astonishing sweetness level ranging from 7,000 to 13,000 times that of sugar. Now it's found in a variety of food and beverages products, including baked goods and dairy items. But Neotame satisfies even the most discerning sweet tooth. Now this is an ongoing debate amongst experts and scientists, especially when it comes to the Food and Drug Administration through North America and actually into Europe as well. But they've actually deemed these artificial sweeteners safe for consumption within specific limits. So what are those limits? It hasn't been around long enough and it hasn't been tested enough to know what is safe and what isn't safe. Now, as we navigate the realm of artificial sweeteners, it's important to strike a balance between indulging in artificial sweeteners and craving our sweet tooth and considering potential long-term health problems. While these artificial sweeteners offer a guilt-free way to enjoy sweetness, moderation is key. So until we actually know whether it's good for us or bad for us, I would tell you that you need to create a balance. Get your body used to having some of these artificial sweeteners to keep your calories within a range, but also enjoy the natural sweetness of fruit and other areas that are more natural that your body already recognizes and that they can process better. So the next time that you reach for that sugar-free snack or sip on a diet soda, you'll have to take a deeper understanding of the five common artificial sweeteners that enhance the flavors of these favorite treats. Embrace the sweetness, but always remember to savor it wisely. So there we have it guys, we have the five artificial sweeteners that are probably sitting into your zero calorie beverages. What I wanna know, are you a believer in artificial sweeteners? So do you think that they're okay for consumption or do you think that they're going to be bad for you? Put that in the comment section, give the video a like and I'll see you on the next video.